it's got here, um, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, logos like this in um, Cinema 4D and Photoshop. So, um, what you can do basically cleanse our cool logos. We cannot have any picture you want in the back of the logo. Um, I think th these logos are pretty much the best logos you can have. In, like these kind of logos, like the best logos you can have for clans because um, it kind of adds a bit of personality to the logo. Because, say, if you really like Pokemon, um, like the guy who I did this for, well, I don't really like it, but he likes Pokemon. Um, this is Mega Charizard and X um, So, it kind of like adds a bit of personality to the logo that you're making the person for, if you know what I mean. That's to make no sense, but you know, and also you can have text and change it for each person and the PSD if you like other GFX as want the PSD you can have the, the other GFX can have it with the other pictures for logos as well. Um <coughs> it's pretty easy. <coughs> Sorry. But um yeah so what you're gonna do you wanna get um I find it easy to do with um text. Just playing around with text. I do not know what just happened there. Um I'll just get rid of this. Um so if you put some text down, uh say if I was making clad for I don't know, hmm, clan name. The day of school, no. Um, let's just try and recreate what I did earlier. Um, try and recreate this because I've really nothing in mind. So I was. What the hell is happening? <laughs> oh my god! I don't even know what's going on. How do I get rid of this? So say if I wanted, uh, just say R, oh. it's kind of grey, so I'll change it so it's black, or is it just my eyes deceiving me, no. So once you got this, um, that looks pretty bad on its own, if you were just to make, oh god dang, if you were to just make this 3D, um, so it would look pretty bad, so what I would like to do is get two of them, so you press Control J over here, and um, get the other one and move it around. Press Control T and then right click. Then just do some like transforming with it. So you can get a pretty cool like uh, shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it would look better if it is perfect. I think this is pretty cool. It's kind of like a skull, you know, the eyes and stuff. It'd look better if it was a piece. I've done that before. So, um, you know. So, um, then what you want to do is uh, right, hold shift and select all of these and then press link layers. And you can move them around freely, resize them, do whatever you want, but this size looks fine. Then what you want to do is make a new layer. It doesn't really matter where it is, but it'd be best if it was on top. <coughs> and select your pen tool. Um, <coughs> this basically allows you to like, create paths and um, import the shape into Cinema 4D. So um, what you want to do is click um, around all of these. Um, basically just get the outline of the entire shape. This does not have to be perfect. It basically will like look better in Cinema 40. But if it's like completely off, say if you had like a bit, say if it's like that, it would just look terrible for you. Know. So try and get it as good as you can. Um, it can take quite some time depending on the logo that you have. And it's a lot easier to do with just flat shaped logos. Say if you had like a really curvy logo, like with an O or something, it'd be quite hard to do because you've got to do loads of angles and stuff. So, nearly done. I'm kind of rushing this. It's kind of boring to watch me create the path. Sorry if my voice sounds weird. I've got a really bad cold right now. So, yeah. Okay, once this is all done, um,. You should, have an, you should have an outline uh, and that will be fine. So what you want to do is go to File, Export, Paths to Illustrator, uh, Work Path, select Work Path, make sure that's selected. And then you'll get this, make sure it's an AI, if it's not an AI it wouldn't work. Say I just want to edit Paths, I've got so many Paths saved so I just spell it wrong and stuff. I should save to my desktop for quick access and um, press save. Um, you could just do whatever you want with this now, it doesn't really matter. You might want to keep it if you want to do RCs and give people the AI. But you know, so we're pretty much done in Photoshop for now. Um, keep Photoshop open though, you're going to need it in a little bit. So what you do is have a Lightroom open. Um, I use this light right there. Lightroom. Um, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, I use this Lightroom. I can't remember where I got it from. I think it's like Fezzo Designs or something. Uh, of course, like stupid ads. So what you want to do is open the AI, which is this one, in Photo in Cinema 40. Uh, I use R12. It's the only one I can get. Um, just press OK with that. You don't really have to change anything. 
and you'll notice this it's just lines it's just the path so simply all it is now this will look terrible if you just have this as a logo i will show you what it looks like if you render it in a sec uh, if you were to just render it like this it would look pretty horrible I don't even know what happened exactly, it's just nothing. So you don't want that, what's that? What you want to do is make sure this is selected and um, hold this down and press extrude nerves and then drag this up onto this. And there you go, it goes 3D. Um, it looks really thin when you first do it. So what you want to do is make it a lot bigger. Select extrude nerves to make it bigger. There you go, it's a lot thicker. If you want to find a nice kind of darky grey, We don't even need this one to be honest. A darker grey. What's that? Oh god. What does that look like? Just a regular colour? Oh, you know, that looks fine. So you don't have to add, add, add any colour to it. And then what you want to do is press Ctrl C on this and just exit out of this. You can just press No. You don't need to save it and get your Lightroom up. This is the one that I had open from earlier. And press Ctrl V. And you'll get this into the Lightroom just so you can have a better viewing point with the lights and stuff. Um, because if you don't have a light, it just looks horrible. You basically just see the front of the shape. <coughs> and um, this Lightroom is very good because you can't actually see the lights. If you look around, it doesn't look like there's any lights, but there really is lights. And as you see, the kind of light changes. I'll be able to demonstrate it. Say if I go up here and render it out. You can see it's lit up pretty much everywhere. But if you didn't have a light room, it wouldn't be. And that looks quite dark, so um, the bottom isn't because there's probably no lights around the bottom, so you don't really want to have a bottom on view. You don't really want to be like this because it won't look very it will probably it will just look like the rendering mess up so if you want to like I prefer angles that are kind of like this that looks pretty well so once you're firm happy with this you want to go to your thingy and um, change this what it's called you can change it to anything you want uh, say what it's called um, I'll change it to tutorial I can't spell <laughs> I'll do tutorial output you want to um, uh, this you can have as anything. I prefer to have a JPEG just for the lols and everything else there looks fine. Um, you don't really need to worry about anything else. Once you put it in the Lightroom, just hit this and it'll render out. Um, <coughs> it shouldn't take long depending on the computer you have. Um, if you have a Windows, it'll take probably longer because Macs are pretty much made for the like, picture editing and stuff. So, you know. And once this is rendered, you just want to minimize Cinema 4D. You're not really going to be using it much anymore. <coughs> but you want to, um... Uh, you just go to here and delete all of this. Change the background color to black, just because simply it will look a lot better. Um, then what you do is get this tutorial, la 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 drag it on. Now that looks very pixelated from quite a while. Okay, that looks horrible. It's fine. I'll just make it smaller, just so it's a bit less noticeable. And Boom, there we go, it still looks horrible, but it's fine, it's just tutorial. Um, yours probably won't do this, because I saved it very big. So, um... Oh, uh, one sec, let me try and fix this. So I had a little play over with some of the settings, but I couldn't, unfortunately, get it to look less pixelated. But if you zoom out, it doesn't look pixelated at all. So what you can actually do is make it bigger. La -la 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 Boom, uh, that looks fine, to be honest. Um... So um, this comes the tricky bit, well it's not really tricky, but it's probably the hardest bits to, of all of them. So you want to get your picture, um, I will just use Charizard, actually let's use Pikachu, just for the lols. So um, it'll cover the whole thing, you don't want that, so what you want to do is hold Alt, uh, basically press this in the middle, and it'll show a little arrow down to the logo, then you want to press this and change it to overlay, and there you go, that looks amazing, I think it does. But with this, it's got a background, so if you like move it out of range, it'll just kind of look bad. So, um, uh, find a good angle of how you want it. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the Charizard, because it'll be a lot easier to do with. So, uh, Mega Charizard X, or Y, I can't remember which one it is. Uh, you can have it like this if you want, but it won't look as well. It won't look as good as uh, how it would if you um, do this. There we go. It won't look as good as it would if you did this. And now you have this, which is pretty 
Ooh, yeah. Text are pretty good, but no one will know what clan you're in, so what you want to do is add some text. Um, I want to move this up, actually, because I need room for big text. It doesn't have to be big text, but you know. I recommend using the same font as you did in making the logo. So for me, it's Fika. I don't even know what font it is. Fika Regular Promo. I think it's a nice font. You can get it from dafont.com. Uh, link will be in the description. Uh, I don't want this to be too big, actually. Let's change it to 70. That looks fine to me. Uh, name of clan tutorial it's black god dang it uh, no racism there just saying you can't see it because the background's black as well I'd have it as a kind of dark grey because we're going to be adding some effects to this text as well tutorial there we go it looks pretty big but you know that is what she said I think before we move on I'm going to move this not this god dang it screw you this Gonna make it bigger. There we go, and that Charizard looks fine to me. You can have it in the middle, but I kind of prefer like some of the logo not to be taken up. So you know, but that's just opinion, you know. And uh, then what you want to do once you've got this text, double click the layer, <coughs> and you'll get layer style up. So uh, make sure you have Bevel and Embass on, and change this to whatever you want. Um, some of them look really bad, but um, it's pretty much just up to personal preference and what clan you're making it for. I prefer having this on about one, just to give it a bit of depth, or two, or three. Three looks nice. Uh, change soften, um, looks pretty bad. If you have it softened a lot, you can have a texture if you want. This doesn't look very good, but um, if you do have a texture, I recommend changing the scale so it's about 50 or lower. But if you have a massive, it just looks terrible. I'm actually going to keep that because that looks okay. <coughs> There's other textures that looks better actually. Actually, no, it doesn't. I changed my mind a lot if you wonder. That looks fine. Um, you can have a drop shadow. I, that, you can't really tell a difference on 2D text, but you know, you can have an outer glow. Um, it can look nice depending on where you're using it. <coughs> um, Kinda looks nice here, but you want to change the size of it um, to about one or two, two. That looks pretty nice. So um, I think that's pretty much it. You can have an inner glow if you want, but that doesn't look as nice as the outer glow. Color overlay will basically change the color, which doesn't really look as nice as not having a color overlay. Satan. I don't know what Satan does. It kind of makes it darker. Um, in a shadow, that looks pretty nice, so um, I'm going to keep that. And here you go, here's your logo PSD that anyone in the clan can use. Basically, um, if you wanted another picture, say if I wanted this Pikachu. Did that work? No, it didn't. Say if I wanted this Pikachu, what you do is, uh, just of that, is change it, so just put it below the first one, and then change it to an overlay, and there you go, but you want to make sure the one you want is the one you don't want is unpicked because that just looks ridiculous. You know, you can just change which one you want, and you just want the normal clan logo to be this, that would be it. So, um, um, I'm in Scott, thanks for watching how to make a um, clan logo. You can pretty much do any shape you want with this. Um, so, yeah, if you want more tutorials, don't forget to like, write, and comment, and share with your friends. I mean, I can't really get noticed, so my biggest basically up to you to help me get noticed so if you enjoy this video and you know people who want to get into gfx just show them this video and they'll be all good to go um i'll probably have skype in the description as well in case you want to ask me any questions about gfxing i'm not a master at it but i know a fair bit about it so um, thank you much for watching goodbye